24 hours in our life. Exclusive to see what happens overnight. Jacob got into the laundry. <laughs> Broke the lock. Good morning guys. Good morning. We haven't vlogged in a very long time. We have not had the capacity to juggle two children and vlog at the same time. We're taking an attempt right now. We're gonna do that today. We're gonna do 24 hours in our life. So we're gonna be filming from this time today to this time tomorrow, including what happens tonight. You guys get exclusive to see what happens overnight in the order house. <laughs> Do people want to see this? <laughs> so you guys are about to see the real life. Everything. We are starting off the day with breakfast, obviously. We were up very early. You guys will get to see that tomorrow. I tried to let Jess have a bit of sleep and locked her in the room so Jacob couldn't go and disturb her and he broke the lock off the door. Mm, I'll show you guys. These kids get into everything, Jacob especially. So we have put locks on every single door in our house. This is solely a safety reason because in every single room of the house that we have locked, there is something that Jacob can get into, can drink, can pour out, can break. So. So we initially put a lock on our door here because this is the room that has the computers in it and Jacob was wanting to get to the computers and also we put stuff in this room that we don't want him like dangerous stuff and things like that that he don't want him to get and hurt himself with but this morning he literally broke the door. There's a lock on the bathroom because Jacob likes to turn the taps on and leave them on and overfill the sink. There's a lock on the laundry because Jacob likes to pour out the laundry detergent. Yes, we need a high shelf in the laundry, we get that. <laughs> Not to mention Jacob likes to put all the toilet paper rolls down the toilet with the cardboard and flush it. Cause that's just fun! Whoa! This is a little bit of real life as well. Uh, we use Jazz's room as kind of a laundry room. The clean laundry goes here before I fold it. It's the only place I can put it and I think... Jacob got into the laundry. <coughs> no, out we go, come on. Out we go, out we go, come on. I don't know how you got in there. We need to lock that. We will go and do something fun, I promise, Jacob. Oh. Yes, this place is a mess. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to clean this up and get Jazzy ready for her swimming lesson. Do you have swimming today? Are you going to put swimmers on? Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. No, don't do that. Come on. Let's go. Stop. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. It's very hard to vlog. It's very hard to vlog. Okay. Now Jacob is asking me for my phone. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would notice that I haven't been on Instagram very much. And the reason being is because Jacob constantly has my phone. No, he won't use the iPad. It's my phone that he only wants and he only wants this video right here. Oh, it's called Baby Stop Crying on YouTube and he's obsessed. And he takes it. To be fair, it is a relaxing sound. But we're gonna montage this clean up really quickly. off and got the dishwashing detergent, didn't you? I know this is really dangerous and we should have a lock on there, but he also broke that lock too. Actually, I think I left this on the sink because I was doing dishes yesterday. You see Jacob 
love sensory. He's a he's a sensory seeker, but he also loves to pour things out. And so things like this, or like laundry detergent, things like that, he loves to pour out into sinks. It's very expensive. Oh, is it Humpty? Humpty's going to bed. No, to my this This is such a mess. <laughs> It's a mess in here, isn't it? So Jazz loves putting her bibs on like babies and stuff, so. So while Jordan is having a shower, I have no idea what my daughter is doing under the mat. Jacob is playing with his toy. What are you doing? <laughs> are you reading under there? You won't be able to see the book. The doggy. We got a new couch. You guys can't see it very well because of the sun. Our old couch was absolutely so like old and disgusting and gross and we decided to go for a second hand couch after everyone's recommendation. Our kids are always spilling things I have to wipe that up on our couch. So I would like ask Instagram what you guys do and the majority answer was to get a second-hand couch and buy your... Yes, Ladybug is red. To get an, a second-hand couch until you'd have your kids no longer in your house and then you can get your dream couch. So we got this one off the marketplace. It was really uh, cheap and I just styled it with this blanket and these pillows. This one is already in the wash because it's got a stain on it already. We're going swimming! Let's go! <laughs> now we're going to take a car. Have fun, Jazzy. Say bye. Bye, bye Jacob. Jacob. I love you. Have fun. Alrighty. Now it's just you and me, Jacob. I think he's a little upset that he's not going. But usually during this time, Jacob would have therapy. He would have his in-home therapy. But that's not happening this week, so it's just gonna be Jacob and I. We might go for a walk, we might do some therapy of our own, just with his communication device. Then at midday, Jacob has his own swimming lesson, and then he has speech therapy after that. So, busy day usually, but today is pretty good because we uh, don't have ABA therapy. Can I do your hair as well? Are you gonna let me do your hair? You want the video. Mm -hmm. so I want the video. <gasps> okay, you can have the video. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Can I have a kiss? I love you. Because the days get so chaotic, at the beginning of the day, I will always lay out my gym clothes. So this is like a reminder that I need to go to the gym. Sometimes we can get really caught up in the day and not leave any time for ourselves to do our thing. I've been going to the gym for about four weeks now and it's honestly made me a better mom. Can you even call yourself a parent if you don't finish off your kids' leftover breakfast? So Jacob has been doing really well with his AAC device. Multiple times he's pressed the tired button, which he is obviously very tired because he doesn't sleep very well. And he's been asking for things, uh, especially food items, really well. Snacks? Chips. Chippies! Here we go! Chips. You want chippies! Good job! Great. Oh, you have great. Yeah. Good job. You did that yourself. Chips. You want chips. Good job. And you see that smile on his face. It's like they understand me. Yesterday we focused on making sure that the floors were vacuumed, mopped and the area was clean inside 
And so today we have a backload of laundry to do. So ready, set, go. It's time for me to make my breakfast, which is gonna be some all bran with some protein and some milk. Only nine o'clock and I've already filmed so much today. <laughs> so what I might do is I might check back in with you guys when Jazz and Jordan get back and we're doing our next thing. For now, Jacob's just gonna be playing with his toys and I'm gonna be eating my breakfast. Because Jacob doesn't drink water, I put a little bit of cordial in, but I'm also gonna put a little bit of iron in there. The supplement that he takes doesn't have iron because if you don't have a deficiency, then you shouldn't be having extra iron. So I put extra iron in his drink because Jacob's a fussy eater, aren't you? So they're back home from swimming. Jordan's gonna try and break up this couch. We have plans for this garage to turn it into a room, but for the moment there is just stuff everywhere that we need to go through. Okay. <laughs> it's lunch time now and Jazz is having some stir fry veggies and noodles. Is it yummy with the corn? Mmm, and then I'm cooking some ravioli for Jacob. And then we're gonna go take Jacob to swimming up. You cleaning up, Jacob? You cleaning up the salt that you've spilt everywhere? We just got back from Jacob's swimming lesson and Jazz woke up and then we left the Covered open and he got the salt out. And that was all over the floor. And now he's getting the bags out. Okay, we might need to get out of here. You want to go outside? Let's go in the backyard. Were you outside playing in the pool? While the kids were playing in the water slash pool, Jordan and I were packing up the garage. We were just getting rid of all of the rubbish and putting it in the car and he's off to the tip right now. You have a bib. That's your bib. And <laughs> we played with the water hose with the kids. I couldn't film yet again because not wearing any clothes, he's not wearing any clothes, and all my makeup's running because I'm all sweaty. Jacob was supposed to have speech therapy, but hey, 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 it's been moved to tomorrow, so. Mom, hey, Do you want to play Play-Doh? Yeah. Yeah? Go get the Play-Doh. I need to charge this camera, and we'll be back with you very soon. Whilst the camera was charging, Jacob took himself into his bed and had a nap at like 4 p.m. This has never happened before. I can't help but think this is maybe the effects of the medication that he's on. Who knows, but I had to wake him up about 45 minutes later because then he would have just not gone to sleep tonight. So Jazz actually ended up having her dinner because she saw the ravioli that Jacob had for lunch and she wanted that for dinner. So Jordan's back now from the tip. Can I go to the gym? Leaving you with the kids at the feral time of the day. Alright, you sit down with Jazz. I'm gonna go to the gym. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Have a good sleep. Yes, she does need that many teddy bears. All right, now it's your turn. Obviously, you can see that I just got back from the gym. Didn't film too much at the gym because I'm too nervous about doing that. <laughs> Jacob, come on, we're gonna go to bed. Let's go. So now that I'm back, Jordan is having a shower. Because he hasn't had one since the trip. Here's the curtains, turn off. Here's the machine, the glow dreaming machine. To hear a bit more about that I'll leave the link to that video here so basically what I do with Jacob 
He's going to sit in his room, sit in the bean bag in front of the door so that he doesn't go out. And he sits here and plays for just a little bit and then I take the toys out and then it's time to go to sleep. It's really your guess is as good as mine as to how long it's going to take for him to go to sleep. But I really could use the shower right now. But priority is getting this little guy to sleep and then I'll have a shower. Jacob's first wake up of the night. I'm hoping it's going to be the only night wake up of the night and I'm hoping that he's going to fall back asleep. Let's lay down. Oh, come on. So Jacob was very distressed when he came in here so I turned on his YouTube video which is like a dancing dots video. So now he wants to play with the mouse and so it's just not working out. He's not coming back. Before I picked up the camera I did try and settle him back down to sleep and it didn't work so I'm bringing you guys with me tonight okay so it's now 10 o'clock my attempts at trying to get him to sleep none every time I lie down he just pushes me to get back up he's taken all the sheets off the bed and he's constantly kicking me out of the bed I'm not even sure what was the last time I filmed. I think it was when Jacob had just fallen back asleep midnight. I think it was like midnight or 12.30, I'm not sure. I would consider that a good night. Jacob just woke up now. Well, Jazz woke up at 5.30 and Jacob woke up at 6. There was a few times between 12.30 and 6 o'clock where Jacob would jolt awake and reach out and like, make sure that I'm there um, but he went back to sleep after that so he would have done that two or three times in that time period but I would consider that a good good night compared to what it has been there's times where Jacob will wake up at 1 and go back to sleep at like 4 or 5 in the morning there's generally a period in the night time where he's awake for a good three four five hours I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video I don't even know if anyone would enjoy it. Just know that you're not alone if your child is up in the middle of the night. But yeah, we'll see you guys in our next video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Don't forget to comment the sleep emoji if you have gotten this far in the video. And we'll see you guys in our next one.